Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. We will try to reply to your comment personally. In the ongoing interaction between viruses and human beings, it's pretty clear that the humans aren't all getting along with the COVID-19 coronavirus. Considering how it treats us, it's probably safe to assume the virus isn't crazy about us, either. Viral infections are nothing new, nor are viral epidemics loosely defined as a lot of cases in comparison to the overall population, usually cropping up quickly, or even pandemics, an epidemic that crosses boundaries, because viruses have a very poor sense of boundaries. Most of us are no stranger to the common cold, plenty of people get one form or another of influenza every year, and almost all of us spend some time at home, in bed, feeling sorry for ourselves and hydrating and we recover nicely. It's probably accurate to suggest that this year's novel coronavirus is nothing to, you should pardon the expression, sneeze at. By no stretch of the imagination does it mean instant death for the poor, unfortunate souls who acquire it. But it's no fun, either, and is especially trying for people who already have significant health issues, compromised immune systems, or age. 1. Viruses don't like distance. Public transportation, though unavoidable for many people, might not be your best, first choice. If you have another way to get from point A to point B, or even point Y, do it. You've been meaning to get more steps in any way, right? As for public venues such as restaurants, theaters, performances of various kinds, support independent film and local artists, but not right now. Honestly, it's a good time to catch up on your reading. If you have to go out, try not to come into common areas of usage, like doorknobs. Open doors with your shoulders, if you can. You might look awkward, but awkward is a small price to pay for staying healthy. Common sense, though generally uncommon, will help a lot. Don't stockpile household goods, remember that face masks should be saved for those who are already sick, or for medical professionals caring for infected patients. Wash your hands. Where no one has gone before. We're all in this together, but for now, keep a safe distance from others when possible. Stay calm. This, too, shall pass. 2. Coronavirus can be beaten. So what to do? In point of fact, what you should do about avoiding coronavirus is what you should do as a matter of course anyway. Part of its common sense, part of its good manners, and all of its doable. Colorado Public Radio offers helpful tips for staying healthy during the present pandemic. First, cleanliness is next to godliness. Wash your hands. A lot. Any time of the year, there's a lot of germs out there. Warm water, soap, for about 20 seconds or so, sing happy birthday to yourself a couple of times, or recite the opening narrative to Star Trek. Or just time it. But do it. The website for Northwell Health also suggests that you avoid touching and no handshakes, avoid sick people and practice that sneeze or cough into your elbow thing. A good hand sanitizer is your new best friend for the time being. Use it thoroughly, and use it often. It really is a matter of better living through chemistry. For that matter, besides keeping your hands clean and keeping them away from your face, please, it will be helpful to clean and sanitize surfaces you come into contact with on a regular basis. Your phone, for instance. Give it a wipe. Also keyboards that apply to you musicians out there, and countertops. 3. Viruses don't like a calm, informed public. When pandemics create panic, a bad situation gets worse. On that note, rethink stocking up on face masks. For one thing, it's creating a shortage for medical professionals who actually need them. They won't help you unless you, as would a medical professional is caring for someone who's sick. They help keep you from spreading the airborne droplets that bear the virus to others, but that's only if you're already ill. It's probably pretty important to remember that although you should avoid physical contact with someone who's ill and yes, that can be difficult if you're living with that individual it doesn't mean you ignore them, especially if they're sick and for all intents and purposes alone. Ours is an age of wonders. Call. Video call. Text, email, reach out. Let them know you care. Most importantly, let them know that they aren't alone in this. Finally, if you're truly sick, stay home. If the symptoms aren't severe, don't clog up hospital emergency rooms, they have enough on their hands at the best of times, let alone now. It's okay to cancel social engagements and avoid larger gatherings. It's probably prudent to avoid large gatherings of people, too. 
Schools are closing temporarily, some switching to online teaching and for good reason. An informed public working together is a virus's worst nightmare. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.